angle this down a little bit. There we go. Gonna have to do something to get this to stay. Okay, it's kind of staying. Is it staying? It's not staying. There we go. We're in business. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We have a fishing video finally being fished, edited, released onto the YouTube channel. First of all, I want to say hello to my new subscribers. The subscriber count is slowly slowly climbing but I wanted to say thank you for all my subscribers that have been with me for a while y'all know that it's been a little while since I have posted any sort of video it is not because I quit fishing Jesus no 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 trust me I'm fishing I just have not been doing a whole bunch of recording the reason being we are having some IT difficulties meaning the computer that I'm using might as well be on dial-up and I might as well be editing from a tablet there's keys missing on the keyboard it takes an hour for anything to load It'll turn off if it gets unplugged from the charger. Did I just spit on y'all? I'm sorry. So yeah, it's been a mess. It has been a mess. If you know anybody or know a place to get a good editing computer, please link it down below or something. Just because you see this video does not mean, I'm still using that computer. I'm still using that right now to use this. So it is just gonna take forever. I'm probably up grinding editing videos on this slow. Anyway, what are we doing today? What? Today we're at the beach. We're at the beach. We're gonna do some fishing, and we're gonna do some catching. We're going after the drum that have the horns. That's right, the bull drum. The whatever you wanna call them. The ones that are bigger than the year. I want something 40 inches plus. I think my biggest was around 50 inches, but we can we can beat that. Today we are trying from the surf. I got the 12 footer, I got a 13 footer. We're, we're gonna walk through the day. We're gonna put some baits out. I brought the TFO, I brought the nine footer to throw some jigs. I don't know what we're gonna do. It depends on what I see. It looks great out there, not, uh, it's good. It's good. It's gonna be a great day. Let's let's start. Let's start fishing. Let's go over what we're doing. All right. All right. All right. What we got here? All right. This is what we're using. Now, I always prefer to catch fresh bait. I do not like using anything that has really ever been frozen. I did not have any time to go catch bait yesterday or any in the recent days to bring out here today. So I had to get some stuff that was that was frozen. I got some spot. They'll work. The heads will especially work. These don't look too bad if you judge by the eyeballs. This one looks a little eh but the body pieces, they're really hard to stay on the hook. So pretty much in here, I see this bag is only being one, two, three, four baits. The head will stay on there pretty good. It's not that fresh, obviously, but I mean, think about what is it? Wendy's that says fresh, never frozen burgers or whatever. It's the same thing with this. Fish would rather have something fresh than the stuff that's been in a freezer. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this up. I'm gonna show you how I cut this up and I'm gonna put a couple pieces out on those rods out there. And then we're gonna cast them out and start fishing finally. And then since I don't really know, I mean, I really would only, like I said, really only use the heads from stuff that's frozen, especially a spot, because they don't keep that well. But and since it doesn't look too bad, I might try a body piece. Um, I always take off all the fins on my cut bait, because when you throw it out there, I mean, it casts a little bit better and it won't get in the way or it'll be less of an obstacle to get into the mouth of your fish. So. That's pretty much my two baits. Um, I do on the heads, I kind of like to trim them up. Kind of, I mean, that's still a pretty big bait, but that's kind of like the bait I'd be going for with one. This one, just trim it up a little bit. I don't know. It's just preference on bait, as long as you can get it out there. Obviously the smaller baits and the smaller rigs, when I mean smaller rigs, the closer the hook is to the weight, the farther it'll go. I'm not that concerned about it right now. So let's go get these on those. We have bait number one, just like that. Bait number two, the body piece is always kind of iffy, but I'm gonna put it kind of near the spine or the whatever, the backbone into it so it'll hold a little bit better. And then that is the second bait. Again, if these end up falling off, flinging off, whatever, when I'm casting them, I'm just gonna move to the heads. Like I said, I do have another rod with me, so I am gonna be trying to catch fresh bait. And I do not have a cast in anymore because I went fishing in the river and that thing got hung up on, go! Oh! Oh, got hung up on a log and I lost a cast net.
that's the Daiwa Saltus. This is this is the Fathom 30. That is a huge reel. That is way too much for the drum. That's the reel that I had on here when I was from when I was doing some fishing at the river. Uh oh. Uh oh. What was that? A little clicky clicky, huh? Was somebody interested? Guys, I was just at the pier the other day and I seen people. I mean, they were hooking, I don't know what exactly they were hooking on, but I think it was like a bunch of cow nose or whatever. But I mean, if y'all are newer to fishing, I mean, obviously if y'all fish, y'all know, but if you're newer, guys, you gotta set the drag. You don't, whether it's a spinning rod or this, you don't lock the drag down and put the rod down on the pier in the sand spike or whatever. Loosen the drag so when they hit it and they take it, there's tension. It depends on whether you're running, what type of hook. There's a lot of variables. Make sure your drag's set so if they hit it, it can take it and it's not gonna pull your shit into the ocean or over the pier. I don't know if y'all see this, but pretty much I just have my nine footer with small hooks, two piece bottom rig with a two ounce sinker on my nine foot TFO rod. And I'm just gonna use this right now to sling out there and try to catch some fresh bait. Sea mullet, roundhead kingfish, whatever you wanna call it, would be great. Croaker's okay, spot would be best, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cast this out there. I can't stress, the fresher, the better with the bait. So let's see if we can't do that. Tons of dolphin out there, That's that sucks. Booyaka. Oh god, that thing flies. Yep. I'm not gonna put this in a spike. When you're fishing for small fish, it's better to keep, well to me, it's better to keep the rod in your hand. So that way, as soon as you feel the little bite, you can just set the hook and reel them in. But that's what I'm doing right now. Hopefully we'll be able to catch some fresh stuff. These baits have been pecked at and I'm just bringing them in. It's been about 10 minutes. I haven't caught any fresh bait, but I wanna see what the, I guess the scavengers are doing to the baits out there. So I know how often I gotta put new baits on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this in, bring both of them in, see what those baits are looking like. And yeah, Ugh. that bait is clean gone. So we're looking like we're gonna be rebaiting every 10 minutes, which is fine which is fun. If there's little stuff out there pecking on the bait, then that means that there's bigger stuff eating that stuff, so. Well, on the other rod, the head came back on that one, so I'm gonna move the heads, because once that, like I said, once those bodies thaw out out there, they probably just, once they thaw out in the water, they just turn to mush and they're really easy to come off. So I'm just gonna move the heads and just pray that I'm catching fresh bait before I run out of these things. Trying to catch a spot and Kroger, roundhead, whatever, but I keep catching these little black drums. These guys all go back into the water. You gotta grow up and be a big ugly. Right now you're just a little, little baby back. They're getting bigger. I have caught a few sea mullet, so I got those out on here, but there's so many. I must have caught a hundred of these guys already. tiger i'm pretty sure probably about four feet or so i don't know what that is actually there we go well i have no idea if y'all can hear me with all this wind i'm trying to cover the mic with my hands there's a guy down there he just caught one I mean, that, was, that thing was easily over 40 something inches. I'm just getting beat up. I, I'm still wet from the rain and I need to, I'm gonna reel these in, I'm gonna call it a, call it a night. Sometimes, you know, you go out on a boat, kayak, whatever, and you see something like, dang, I really wanna try to fish that. That's what we're doing today. I've never fished here before, but we're looking for those inshore fish. I got gulps, I got the cast net, so I'm gonna try to put some live bait on the bottom. Nothing crazy, maybe a Carolina rig, two hook bottom rig, I don't know. Some sort of rig with cut or live bait. See what we can stir up. Let's get down this path, see what we can find.
Well, we've made it to the beach. I don't know if y'all can see it, but right out there, uh, maybe it's right here. I can't really tell, but there is a rock pile. So I'm going to try to see if I can't get close to it, whether it's through the water or just casting. Looks like a pretty decent distance. So we're going to get down there. We're going to see what the situation is looking like. The water, really glassy. That's not very exciting, but let's keep going. Keep on the chucking. All right, that's a little bit better view of it right there, isn't it? It's a little bit further than I thought, but we're still gonna see what we can make happen. I can see that right before it, the water's darker right here. So there's almost like a little channel, uh, a little drop off. And then there's a sandbar right there and right back there. It's really hard to show you all on the camera, but let me go ahead and bring a lure up real quick and see if I can find a fish or see what's happening out there. All right, so today I got the seven footer. This is the one that I'm gonna be jigging. It has a little bit of 20 pound test uh braid but then i bring that down to this leader right here where's the knot at right there there's a knot and all that is is just a uni to uni knot and i got that going down to 20 pound mono down to a uh that is a what is that it's a 3 8 ounce jig head that's the kind of the weight that i'm going to be using out here for these conditions and i'm going to kind of wait a little bit and i'm just going to go out there with a pack of gulps um if the fish seem big i'll move to the bigger ones and while i'm out there if i see a whole bunch of mullet bait stuff like that then i will come back grab the cast net rig this guy up and throw those out there too right near the rocks so let's get this thing started shish the water feels pretty damn good pretty damn good we're gonna watch out for those uh little stingrays and jellyfish they've been pretty uh abundant out here walking out a little bit oh man it's actually getting a little bit deeper than i thought it was gonna be brought the wrong pants i obviously don't have swimming pants on Woo! i'm gonna see if i can't get some cast in over there towards that uh little channel with my goat oh yeah Oh yeah, there's mullet right there. Oh yeah, that's a good sign. Maybe I should cast out some bait. That, yeah, I, okay. If the bait's like that, I mean, you can't go wrong with throwing these, but I still I still want to get those out there. So let's go back in that cast net real quick. All right. Let's see. Oh, there's some right in front of me. Oh, they're little guys. I mean, little guys would be great, but oh, there they go. There they go. There they go, watch this, watch this. Oh. There's a huge school of them right there. I got some of them. I had to have got some of them. Yep. There we go. Oh yeah. Look at that. That didn't take long. That didn't take long at all. Oh yeah. We got bait. We have got the bait. There's the, uh, the, fish, oops, the fish finder rig and I got live one on there send him out there see what we can get guys i haven't i i haven't caught a damn thing there's so much bait here it's just like it's almost like having it on a hook isn't even special i've uh let me show you all show you all this this is there he is. This is the first gulp that I've ever had last more than five minutes in the water. And he's pushed it out to be around two hours in the water without having its tail bit off. So yeah, I'd say it's a pretty slow day. All right, all right. Let's get back to jigging. Well, we got the live mullet on the bottom rig out there. We'll see what we can do with the artificial. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We've got one on guys we've got one on on the circle hook come on baby wonder what it is oh that seems kind of rayish not much head shake ah oh, dang it <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, uh, that's the end of the video. When you're catching all the bycatches, sharks, rays, all that stuff, I don't know. I, I just were catching, eh, I was just catching so many rays that day. I, I had to try to make it fun, and it, it was fun. It was, it was. Woo! Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully, I'll be pushing out more videos. Hopefully, we'll get that computer situation dealt with. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. We're, we're still out here on the surf. We're trying, we've been catching some stuff. The night bite is where it's at. Uh, but I'm trying to catch that day drum, which seems to be impossible. It's been years since I've caught one in the daylight. As you can see, I got the rods out there right now. So hopefully, I don't know. We'll use a cell phone light or something to light us up if we're catching something. But until then guys, I will see you guys next time fishing and catching some real fish. All right y'all, later.